so this is the final update on this uh, uh, 123 Mercedes 1984 Mercedes 300 TD wagon, if it makes a difference. It's a turbo uh, five-cylinder diesel. Now this particular valve has one function, and that is to take vacuum that goes in or out of here and deliver it in or out of here by either restricted or full flow. And the restriction or full flow depends upon the position of this linkage that is hooked to the uh, accelerator linkage through the uh, fuel pump. Uh, this thing, I can't imagine that any of these in the field right now are any good. The way that this operates is inside there's a lever that presses on a ball bearing that either restricts or allows full flow in a valve right here. This thing was leaking vacuum from every orifice. The two screw plate that holds it in place here, we finally sealed with silicon, RTV silicon gray. I mean, I tried a gasket, I tried a lot of other things, but of course, when you're pin pulling down on these outer appendages, it's plastic, it's gonna bow in the middle. So gluing it in place did that. It's interesting that this bearing support for the other end of the operation shaft right here has a sleeve on it that grabs a, a coil spring and lifts this pin up and down. In any case, it was leaking a, a vacuum right here because this portion is, is snapped into place and after years of differential shrinkage, it leaked out of there. So it leaked out of here, it leaked all the way around here this we sealed with C8 adhesive, this is RTV gray. Then it leaked through the throttles, or well, I'm gonna call this a throttle shaft because it's just like on a carburetor. So after discovering how to disassemble this by actually removing these two limiter pins and unthreading it out of the assembly because there's no way to unthread it inside, uh, we discovered there was a groove on the shaft right in this location right here, a tiny groove for a tiny O-ring. As a matter of fact, the O-ring we used, I think, came out of a Victor torch that seals the uh, the uh, oxygen acetylene head on a, on a Victor cutting torch. But in any case, it fits perfectly. We lubricated it, and, that, and we just finished testing it by putting vacuum on this line, plugging this line, and pumping up vacuum, and it holds vacuum 100% now. I'm thrilled. Whatever this thing is designed to do, however it works, it's back to function. So uh, uh, if you ever see any things used, send them to us and we'll, we'll, we'll fix it up. In the meantime, I doubt if any of them work because this, this O-ring in here was so tiny and thin with no lubrication. It was just drawing, draw, sucking hot, dry engine air through there all the time. I'm sure during the operation, it just vaporized the original O-ring because there was none on there. But there's one on there now, no leaky, we're happy. Thank you.